Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna try to get some work done today on my brother-in-law's 2013 Softail Heritage. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are really enjoying my channel and uh, let's get started on this video. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this front fork up with 13.4 ounces of fork tube oil. Well, I should stop right now just to make sure I'm not leaking from anywhere. And it doesn't appear to be leaking. And you want to go ahead and you want, oh, got to be careful with that. You want to go up and down, go down slow. You want to make sure that it sucks that oil down into the fork and you get all the air out. I actually want to sit down for this. And you're going to keep hearing that noise because you want to do this at least, they say around, the book says like 15 to 17 times, but again, you want to make sure that all the air gets out and the oil gets to the bottom. That's a lot of fluid going in this thing. Thirteen point four ounces. It's getting hard. Get all the airs out. So I'm gonna put a little more. I'm gonna to try to get every drop because it asked for 13.4 and I'm actually at 13 right now. Just maybe a little hair over 13. I think that's good enough. I mean, 13 I think is plenty. So what I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna put the fork Now it asks for me to put the spring in, but I'm not going to do that. You grab a little bit of oil, I'm gonna put it on here. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait for my brother, he's off right now. I'm gonna wait for him to so it doesn't leak and then I'm gonna put this little cap back on for now so we don't get any leakage from that okay so I am gonna put this somewhere where I don't got to worry about it do the next one Let's fill this one up to the same mark. Leo! What are you doing, Papa? What are you doing, baby? <laughs> what are you doing? You being a good boy? Huh? Are you being a good boy? Yeah. He's kind of tripping out right now because of all the, the wind. It's like we're, we're having a, a storm coming in like around 2.30, 3 o'clock. It rained really bad. We had one last night and uh, it rained pretty bad. So, 
recommends that you pour like half in there. I like to pour a little bit in there and you can hear it going down. And then I like checking everything to make sure it's not leaking. The plug back here, make sure that's not leaking and then work that out. Hear that, oil, hear that air? Get a little more in there. Get all that air out. So if I mean it recommends you doing this like at least 15 times. You know, to just guarantee that you get all the air out, right? Yeah, see all the airs out of that one. No leaks. We're looking good, guys. We're looking good. My wife and I are going to go to the movies here in a little bit. So, um, later on when we get back in the evening time, I'll go ahead and get these forks on there. And, uh, you know, I haven't ordered the wheels yet for him because, you know, the wheels that he actually found for me, they're on eBay and they're like using Chinese parts, but built here in the US. I don't wanna use wheels like that. So in order for me to get the, my dog Zoom and he's chasing after cats or something. So the wheels that he picked for me, they're like, the wheels that he wanted, they're like $700 for both wheels, maybe 350. I found them for 350 plus 50, 60 shipping for each wheel. So like 400, 800, a little over 800. But uh, they say that they're tubeless. You don't need to use tubes on them. Well, and the wheels look really nice, don't get me wrong. But the thing about it is they don't come with any ABS. They put the regular bearings on it. So I would have to change one bearing on each wheel. And then they're telling me that I would have to change the, uh, He's zooming, boy. They told me I would have to change the uh, the axle spacers, right? And so, man, I don't know if I want to get into all that. Um, and then the wheels from Harley, I could get them wheels because they don't make them anymore for 2013. So the wheels are exactly the same for, they started making them again in 2018 for the soft tails, for the same bike, the Heritage. So between 14 and 18, I couldn't find any books that had the wire wheels that were available. They were obsolete, but they remade them again in 2018. And they're not bad. My cost is like $750 plus tax for each wheel. So you're looking at like 1600 bucks, but he would have the black Harley American made wheels with the stainless steel spokes. They're beautiful. I'll show you guys a, a picture of them. But it's a big jump from what he thought he was gonna pay, 750, 800 max for the wheels all the way to 15, 1600. He doesn't wanna go that route, but he doesn't want these chrome wheels anymore. And I don't blame them, They're, they, they, look, they look pretty bad. They're rusted and, and they look pretty bad. I mean, they could probably be cleaned up, but they're never gonna look the same, you know? He might be able to sell them, but I don't know, honestly, I don't know what he would get for them. And that's another thing too, when you get these on there, you gotta be super careful, right? Cause the springs, they're pressure. You gotta make sure you go down evenly cause these threads can strip and you don't wanna strip them. Put this on and it'll keep it standing straight up. See if it's leaking. No leaks at all. So these are going to look really, really nice once we get them on, you know, that's just going to look, they're going to be more like this, but that's going to look just really, really nice within the black and chrome wheel. It's going to be more like that. And this is the, the left one that goes on that side. So just kind of wanted to show you guys what it's going to look like. So I'll get these on now. I'm going to go get ready because my wife and I are going to go to the movies and we haven't had a date night in a very long time. So we're, we're very due. I'm coming. I'm coming, baby. That's my cue. All right, guys. So we will be back in a little bit 
and we will get those forks on. So I'll see you guys back in a couple hours. It is. You are the man, brother. You are the man. Engine manuity. This and that comes off. Yeah, those are fucking yeah, bars. And then I'm gonna put this on just for now. I'm gonna put this in here, like so. Put this nut on there. Yeah, this is a lot like the ones we got on there. I like those bars. Hey, bro. Oh, yours is on a riser. What happened? I don't want that to slide up. I'm going to tighten that up. I'm getting healthy. Those bars are sweet, huh? I can't, the only thing I gotta do to that VTX I haven't done is change the plug. Change the plug? But they say, but on that bike, do you know they said those are 100,000 mile plugs? Really? Yeah. I, I've been doing research, I looked it up. 100,000 mile they plugs? They are, they say they are 100,000 mile plugs. I know, huh? For a motorcycle. Yeah. yeah buddy. I think you are. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think they come in for progressive springs on the, because uh, when it, it won't go down like it does, mm -hmm. it'll just stay up. All right, my brother. The bottom one takes on the other thing. Yeah, right there we go. How much more you got left of me? Just put this on and then I gotta buy the wheel. I haven't bought the wheel yet. So I'm gonna torque these really quick, man. But yeah, yeah, next time I think I do the spring, I'm gonna do I'm gonna put progressive springs on there. It won't go down, up and down like that. When I take off, it won't go like that. It'll just stay still. I hear it's good for a good ride, better ride. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Sixty to seventy. I don't gotta go more than that, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna try to slide this thing all the way. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I need to get this one. Oh, now I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> The one that we were talking about. Yeah, I like how they how they stop how they have a stop right there. Yeah. Well, there it is. This part is nice. They are pretty nice, huh? He gonna be, he gonna be, he gonna be happy in the next you know, oh, month or two. Sure. He gonna be, he gonna be rolling. Perfect he's, timing, Daddy. Perfect timing. He's gonna be happy. Cause I see when they do it, the R RPMs on the on the on the uh, other bikes, they have like two thousand RPMs when they're like when they're uh, what do you call it in the friction zone? Uh -huh. Like oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. on the goal and that bike, and I let that bike go, and that bike go. <laughs> you don't even gotta give a gas. So I gotta, oh no! I keep the I, I keep the bull on the, on the back brake, and that bike will RPM up. Then I can do it. But it sounds like it wants to just take off. Just take off, huh? So it kind of scares me sometimes. <laughs> Yo, I'll admit it. I'm honest. He's like, I'll admit it. I'm honest. Shit! Wow! I can't believe how nice that looks. That looks great. So I got one of these forks in, guys. Well, my brother and I did. He came over and helped me get the, the springs and the the plugs in. And uh, I just got to tighten up the the top. 
bolt up there. The plugs down in here, this is also a plug. Um, so we're getting that one in right now, but you can see how nice that looks. Looks nice. And then there's my brother over there. Also 60 to 70 pounds. So I don't know if it's gonna be able to turn. It's got a lock on it. It just locked. Gotta be careful with this. This black, bro, because it's fucking mm -hmm. chip up. It's easy. No, I was looking at the combination. He's got the chrome and the black. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I think you leave, you leave the wheels half, half, half. You, like you said, that'll be. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, we all been in hibernation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything's new now, so. Wow. Berries, everything. Wow. Yeah. Let me get this. Awesome. Well, there you go, Jesse. You got your new forks, your new uh, highway bar. You got your new bearings. Your triple tree's all been rebuilt. All brand new bushings, brand new riser, brand new bars. And all we're waiting for now is just the wheels, got the tires, and uh, get it back rolling again. Change the front back tires, brakes, rotors, and then fix the leak, and we're good to go. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. That's going to be a wrap for today's video. I'm tired. I'm ready to go in the house. I was able to get some stuff done. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys are interested in winning a Harley, I'm still doing my uh, giveaway. I still got the two bikes, the 09 Ultra Classic and the 2010 Street Glide. I got 99 spots left at $75. I got six different color hats, two different color t-shirts for men, and four different color t-shirts for women. You can check them out on my website, jcustombuilds.com. Man, $75 can enter you in to win one of these beautiful bikes. I'm going to deliver it to your house anywhere within the lower 48. Other than that, you guys always remember to ride safe, take care in everything you do, and God bless. Have a great evening. Mm -hmm.